Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm your host, Pokegamer, in the last episode we made it to Mahogany and we had found that we couldn't go into the gym, so we decided to go to the Laker Rage because there's literally no other place we can go at the moment. And we stumbled, sort of stumbled across this guy. So, yeah. Um, now I need to check and see if my lead's set up appropriately. No, I know what I need to have there. So, Togekiss into the lead, please. Okay. Move back forward, please. Or down. That works, too. So we're just going to take care of this now. Oh, no, it's a shiny. No, not really. It's a freebie. So don't get your hopes up. Sure. Now then. We're going to yawn. We need this guy to get to sleep ASAP. Sure. I honestly have no idea how much damage this is going to do, so... It's not a stab move, so it's kind of a good thing. Nice if it made him flinch, too. Okay, they didn't do a lot. Flinch. About to pass out, anyways. Sleepy time. Even if he wakes up, I'm still faster, and there's a chance of flinch. I don't know if I actually want to risk doing another one. Oh no, you're still fast asleep. Shut up. This really shouldn't be hard to catch, but. I mean, I wanted to make sure I did this at the very beginning of this episode rather than at the very end and then I sit here and fight with it. Two, three, nice. First catch. Or at least first attempt. And I think I. Do I have the free space in my party? I don't remember. I might actually carry it with me, just. Yeah, I don't have the free space. And we have the red scale, which is going to be significant shortly. Okay, now we have a new face. Sure. And then he flies away. Now before we do that as well, there are some trainers that we did miss, and I think that my repel wore off, so we're going to use one. Okay, I guess it did. I thought I could have swore it did. But yes, there are other trainers that we can still fight. I just kind of wanted to get to the like Rage and get that shit done with like, ASAP. So, in Pokemon news, a whole bunch of X and Y stuff has been kind of revealed and whatnot, like English names, so on and so forth. Um, so, I guess I'll just go down the list that Cerebi has here. First, the Go-Goat that was um, shown in the previous one will actually remain Go-Goat. Um, Aleketeru, that electric looking thing, it will, I guess, be called Helio or Helioptile. I don't really know why they didn't name it that, but whatever. Yaya Koma is going to be known as Fletching. And Yen Cham, which is, the, I know that one's the panda, will be known as Pan Cham. Um, so, I mean, there's that. Uh, and a few other things, the region, the Karos region will be called the Kalos region, and the Mayar city will be known as the, or the Moy city. Um, Gyarados, can you please die? Anyways, the move Parting Remark will be called Parting Shot, and... Parabola charge will be parabolic charge. Um, there, I guess there's whatever the what the hell is it called? The trailer. Um, whatever the trailer showed, it showed that you will be able to get new outfits and accessories for your trainers. So like so if you, you know want something, then you can. You can also do diagonal movement. So you know you're not limited to just up, down, left, right. I guess anymore. Uh, I guess that makes sense considering you have you know yeah. 
I really don't. I really shouldn't have to explain the 3DS to you guys. Um, but yeah, they updated their like their images and stuff. So there's a lot of cool shit you should go check out on there. Um, I guess there are some new mechanics that they also had announced. I don't really know which ones are you know like, but I mean I haven't really done enough looking into to really you know. But all I know is that there are actually like the character limit for names and stuff has actually been increased. Uh, apparently it's beyond 10 to 12 since I guess like one of the new moves is like a 16 character long name. No, why am I able to headbutt in the water? I don't remember this. I think there's a hidden item over here too. I don't know. Let's walk around like an idiot. No, I don't want to headbutt. Yeah, never mind. I'll just take the Apricorn and go. to the 10 minute mark before I have to save again. Now up here we reach the Lake of Rage again. And you'll notice that it's raining, so as a result there is water here. There are, I think, I think it's Wednesday and like a few other days that it's not raining and as a result the water level goes down and then there are trainers and whatnot you can talk to in battle. So, of course it would run, just wear off right as I get into the water. Jackasses. So we have an item over here. Woohoo! Not that I really remember or care what the red flute does. Basically, what we're doing is just going to explore what we can, what we can, you know. And okay, I guess it didn't take me away from my game this time. You know, my antivirus thing kind of, you know, popped up. So. Okay. That's cool, I guess. I guess I went like full circle there for a second. Would you stop walking into all the trees and shit? Oh, there's an item over there. I guess we can get that whenever we go back to the other side. At least we get to listen to some fancy music. There's also a house out here, in case you didn't notice that. Secret power, for what that's worth. Watch, it's gonna run out the second I get on the water or some shit. <sighs> you stop walking into the trees. How did I know that was gonna happen? If I'm not mistaken, this is like one of the only ways you can get back here. I got hidden power. Of course, since I'm not playing competitively, I don't think I have any Pokemon that have 70 base power for hidden power, and I don't remember how you check your hidden powers in this game. So, but whenever I get around to looking into it, I'll definitely, you know. Yeah, I don't think that there's anything else of importance in this area. We got a TM. We got another TM. So, I mean, and we just check that way. Why am I going that way? Yes, we're back in the main lake. What? Why is that right there? I did not remember this at all. Okay then. Well, I know who I'll be giving that to in this Let's Play. I'm not going to do it now, but... And I don't remember. I thought I'd talk to you. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe trainers just appear on random fucking days. Stop bouncing around, I hate freaking Marie from this game. This should be a one-shot kill. And then after this battle, I will save. Just to be safe. Oh, 
health recovery. Yeah, I'm switching out. I will be going to... Would you go to frickin' Clydesire, please? That's lovely. GG. Don't reading that bulky, but okay. Of course. Hit yourself. Now use Fire Blast! Or use Nasty Plot some more, so that way you can, you know, push my shit in. Thank you! Unless I'm not getting confused fucked. going while I'm saving thank you. Because that would just annoy me and everyone watching. Because, yeah. Really? Okay, now that we've saved. Okay, and now I know we've got all the think all the trainers. Okay, I guess not. I guess we won't be able to do the hideout today. Because, you know, all the magic hearts and Gyarados and random nine tails in the rain, which is a cool story. sensory and then kill you in one shot. I think all of his Pokemon are magic herb except for one. Or oh, they're all magic herb. Okay. I don't know why they place trainers like this in e like I don't know if it was every game, but still. Like why would you waste the space in the game to put a trainer with only magic cards? makes no sense. Like, I understand it's... I understand that Pokemon's directed at, at, you know, a younger audience, but still, like, they have to know that there are people who play this game on a competitive level, and they want to have some kind of a challenge in the game, too, outside of the gym leaders. I mean, you can't really blame people for that. I have a feeling this is going to take longer than a minute, for some reason. I guess it won't, as long as I don't miss. We... I guess we did manage to do it within the time. I don't think that... Yeah, they're usually blue. So yeah, in the next episode we will take on the Rocket Hideout in Mahogany and hopefully it, you know, beats the next gym leader as well. So until next time guys, this is the Pokegamer, signing out.